everybody, welcome back to my channel, or hi if you are new here. Today's video is such an exciting one. This is going to be a huge haul from Cherries. So stick around and I'll show you exactly what I've got in today's haul. So for those that didn't know, Cherries is basically an online app that you can get on your phone where they sell tons of products, like let me just say they sell food bits, they sell makeup, hair care, beauty, uh, even like furniture, garden stuff, like honestly the list is so long, I would actually compare it to probably like B&M home bargains kind of thing, but like online, so you know that you're going to get so many different products and variety of things for such a cheap price so it's such a great app also I don't know if you can tell or not but I am in my new house this is the first video I filmed sitting down and having a proper sit down chatty video with you all so the background at the moment is a bit bare but it will be being sorted out and apologies if it sounds a little bit echoey in here because it's quite an empty room but yeah continuing on this collab is so exciting and basically I've got a little discount code for you all as well so I'm going to pop that up on the screen now this discount code gets you 20% off your first order only and yeah I mean you're going to find some great things so to make sure that you get your discount you can click the link below in the description box and then just make sure you type in alexg20 um, in the discount code section and then that will take off your discount but without further ado I think it's about time I show you exactly what I've got in today's haul it's quite a big box and all of these products came to in total roughly about 30 pounds just over so I think I've definitely done well for the money it's in this humongous cherries box I can barely even lift it it's bloody heavy this is what the box will look like I can show you without revealing my address. So that's the brand name. And I think the branding in general is really nice. First thing I actually opted for was this little bin because we've, as I said, just moved into our house and you can never have enough bins. Like we've got three toilets now. We need bins for probably all three. And then for this room, like I need to have a little bin because I'm I film now where I do all my makeup and stuff. So it's nice to have a little bin underneath my dressing table. So yeah, I picked this one up. I think this was actually two pounds, uh, a six litre bin. I don't have the prices for everything because, well, I could get them up on my phone, I suppose. But yeah, this one was definitely two pounds. It's just a white basic bin. The only thing I would say about this one is it did come slightly damaged, like the silver seal around the top has kind of cracked away. Now, I don't know if that's because of Probably when it was being delivered, things might have been bashed around a bit. Um, and where there's stuff in there, it's probably quite heavy and it's just kind of broken it slightly. But that doesn't bother me too much because I'll just put that bit towards the back and I'll have a plastic bin bag anyway. What I'm going to do now is continue with cleaning essentials along with like the bin theme. So the first cleaning product I picked up was actually these just micro, micro? antibacterial wipes for your surfaces um, always handy to have and I'm slowly running out of the ones I've got at the moment so yeah I just picked these ones up you get 50 of these in here so that will last me a good while I also picked up a fabulosa product so this is basically um, a disinfectant like liquid that you can use I think you can use it like with water diluted to use as like a disinfectant spray you can use it to what I do is I put it in my sink with boiling water and just let it kind of air the room out because it has such a nice smell this one is in the scent of peach and it actually says it's vegan which is pretty pretty handy it's quite a big bottle because I'm I usually get the um, Zoflora ones but the ones I have are a little bit smaller they do actually sell Zoflora on cherries as well but I wanted to opt for the Fabulosa ones as I've not tried this range of them before. So I'm excited to try that as I'm thinking it's going to smell amazing. The next one I actually couldn't believe how reasonable it was. So I actually got some Lenore 
trusty uh, washing liquid and this stuff isn't cheap like this isn't the biggest bottle this is only a 1.05 litre I don't even know like I swear they're just stupid prices like five pounds or something and I actually managed to get three of these all the same scent all in the scent ruby jasmine which I'm gonna give a sniff actually because I'm I've nearly ran out of my washing liquid Mmm, that's nice. It's quite subtle, but it's really like fresh. So I got three of these for only seven pounds, which is so so good. They do certain deals on the website and the app as well. So like they'll this was a deal at the time, so three of these for seven pounds, and they do like two things for two pounds and so on. So yeah, I managed to get myself the deal and I picked up three of them, which is bloody brilliant. Also picked up some toilet cleaning stuff so not the most interesting thing in the world but two of these little toilet disinfectants they're basically just those things that you hook on the seat just to kind of keep your toilet fresh and clean and you can always do with them because once they've run out you've got to buy a new one and replace it so yeah I've got two of them because it comes in a pack of two as I said we've got free toilets so it's definitely handy to have and this is in the scent citrus sparkle I'm just looking around and I'm thinking that that's about it when it comes to cleaning stuff um, as I said there are so many options though online I probably could have done with getting some cleaning like brushes and stuff but I didn't pick any up this time but definitely will next time okay moving on to like personal care self-care kind of stuff I wanted to get a few new bits for myself in this haul because why not so the first one is actually some bath bombs they did this lovely set of I think you get three yeah three bath bombs which are all in a vanilla scent which if anyone knows me vanilla coconut and well then those two are my top two scents and these are vanilla sugar and I'm thinking they're gonna smell so good um, they're quite a decent size bath bomb as well, but yeah, you get three in there. This is probably dead cheap. Can never have enough bath bombs. I'm always using them. My hair is not wanting to play ball with me today. And apologies if this lighting isn't the best. I'm kind of working with my, that might be a bit better. I'm working with my light I've got here because I'm yet to put up my big lights that are gonna go across my mirror. And then also the, Window is right there, so it's a little bit awkward, but it's much better than my last setup. The next thing for self-care was actually some shampoo and conditioner because I am running out. Brian got me the Olaplex like uh, trial kit for Christmas. So, was it wasn't my birthday? It might be my birthday, actually. So it was the shampoo, conditioner, and then like a bond maintenance thing and something else. So I've used that last night for the first time. That's probably why my hair's pretty flat because it's super, super soft. Um, and I'm loving that, but it's only tiny little ones. So I kind of wanted a shampoo and conditioner for when they've gone that I can use because the Olaplex stuff, as much as nice as it is, it is very expensive. So I've seen these on the website and I've opted for these. So this is the hemp shampoo and conditioner. Now I've no idea what these are gonna perform like. But I looked into them and I've checked the ingredients and stuff and they do seem quite natural and not like too harsh for your hair. Correct me down below if I'm wrong, but hopefully these are going to be quite nice and hopefully they're going to make my hair feel really soft. But yeah, quite a decent sized bottle. They're both 400ml, which is a good amount of product. And yeah, I'm excited to start trying these out. Do you know what? I'm going to give it a smell because I'm really intrigued to see to see what it's gonna smell like. So I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't have a huge smell, but it definitely smells kind of like earthy, I'll say that. This next one is by the brand Face Facts and this is their little pour range. So I've used some of their stuff before. I'm pretty sure I've got some of it in my drawer, but I love a good nose strip. And I seen that and I thought, I'm probably due one, to be honest. You know, get these, get these pores looking minimized. So I seen this and I picked it up. It's just the charcoal nose pore strips and they are also vegan, if anyone was 
interested so i'm gonna try these out hopefully they'll work quite well because sometimes you can get them and they're not great but i have had products from face facts before so i'm hoping they're gonna work just as well um i mainly needed to be fair like cleaning stuff and like miscellaneous stuff so the next group of things i'm going to show you is all stuff for my kitchen including food because like i said they sold food and i was really really gutted because i wanted to get some um cream soda because that's like one of my favorite drinks but it's hard to get in the uk and they sold it on the website they sold it on the app for like a crate of six and i went to put it in my basket and it just sold out so i was gutted so i didn't get any drinks but i did get some food the first food item being some dairy milk chocolate buttons and the bag is empty as soon as the box arrives I will admit I did open it and start tucking into these and they went within about five minutes so yeah at least it's good to know for you guys that they sell treats like chocolate stuff basically anything um, that you can get your hands on so yeah these did go pretty quickly I just wanted to show you I've never actually I don't think I've seen this flavor before to be honest so it was a first timer and they were decent Secondly, because we're always on a health kick over here, I like to think, uh, I got myself some Skinny Dreams Rocky Road Bars. I've never tried these before, but the Skinny Dream range, 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 I think it's the Skinny Dream range, they sell in B&M. They do like the whipped bars and they are like my favorite low calorie chocolate bar. So I seen these and I thought, oh, they're a bit different to what I've normally had. Less than 75 calories. So I picked them up, you get five in there. I've opened it as you can see, as I've already had one. And to be honest, I might actually tuck into another one now because I'm pretty peckish. My battery's dying, I'll be right back. So I've just changed my battery. Batter oh my God, I just changed my battery. <laughs> Where did that even come from? And put my watch on because my watch is now charged. And yeah, so these, oh my God, are delicious. Like they've got tiny little marshmallows on the top and it's just, just such a nice like little treat. Along the line of sweet stuff, I picked up this salted caramel zero calorie syrup because the skinny syrup range I have heard of before and I've wanted to try but I've never gotten around to it because I do have um, a syrup similar to this it's like a maple syrup by the brand Bulk and that's a zero calorie syrup and I do like to add that into like my granola and stuff so I wanted to get a different flavour and try a different brand so I've got this one here which again is pretty big, big size um, 425 ml also vegan i just like to point that out in case like anyone is interested but uh yeah sugar free lovely lovely alternative i will give this one a smell because that's what we do in these videos apparently oh so it has a seal oh that smells good to be honest because you would think like zero calories zero sugar how is that going to taste nice but it does have a nice smell i might just try very very runny yeah it's kind of like the maple syrup one it's super runny and it's got a very very slight hint of, of flavor but it's still better than having obviously like a golden syrup or a normal maple syrup and it just adds a little bit of taste mm. delicious this is why I need a bin because now I've got rubbish everywhere. Okay, next one, food wise, is a bit boring. Um, just like an essential in probably everyone's cupboard. And that is chopped tomatoes. So, again, this was on a deal. I think it was anyway. Yeah. So, you get three of these. I'm pretty sure it was three for a pound, which is pretty good. So, I just picked up three peeled and ready to use chopped tomatoes because. As I said, they are an essential for when you're doing, I don't know, pasta or whatever. Now, I know it's not really food, but moving on to kitchen stuff. I got some kitchen foil because always need that and we are running low. So, grabbed a roll of that. And then these, I thought were really cute. So, these are little food containers. 
So I normally keep, if I get like a Chinese or something, I usually keep the Tupperware box to keep us, you know, so that we can use it to put food in the freezer and stuff like that. So I wanted some proper ones because they can be a bit annoying. So I got three of these with these pink lids, which are really cute and they look quite sturdy as well. And it's gonna be so much easier now to store food. Next one is very random. <laughs> It's something I will be putting in my kitchen, but it's not like a kitchen thing. Basically, I don't think anyone on YouTube knows this. So me and Ryan have actually decided to get a kitten. So we're gonna be getting a little kitten at the end of July and I'm so excited, I can't wait. I've wanted a cat for the longest time. I'm such a huge cat person. So we needed to get a few things, obviously, in preparation for the cat. So I picked up this little <laughs> litter tray because it was so cute because it's got these paws along the side and it's just a basic tray like you don't need anything fancy I mean you might you might want to get something fancy but to me I'm not too bothered so I got this one and that's the size of it so it is I wonder if it says what size it actually is. I don't know, but you can probably gauge from that the size of it. I'm hoping it's gonna be big enough when she's, or he, we don't actually know the gender yet, a lot older because, I mean, it's not the biggest thing in the world. Okay, so we're nearly at the end of the haul now. I've only got a couple of bits left and I'm not gonna lie, the next two are quite random. Again, along with the random theme. So the next one is some clothes pegs. Well, I suppose it's not too random. I mean, it's getting hotter. You can hang your clothes outside. Um, we couldn't do that when we lived in the flat, but obviously now we're in the house, we can put a washing line up, which is so exciting. And for that, I needed some pegs. So in here you get 24. It says strong grip clothes pegs. And yeah, gray, pink, and like a bluey color. Can't go wrong. And then finally, just to wrap up this haul, I got myself some gel pens, some pastel gel pens, because I'm the type of person that is, I'd like to think quite organized and I like to plan stuff out. Um, I've got my little YouTube like diary here that I like to plan my videos in. And why not add a bit of color? So yeah, I've got these little pastel pens. You get six in here. I also do quite a bit of scrapbooking and stuff. I'm that type of gal, so it's always nice to have different kind of colored pens and stuff like that. So yeah, pretty boring for some maybe, but that's that. So that is the box now completely empty. We've made it to the end of the haul. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope this has given you some maybe inspiration on what things you might want or need from cherries. And as I said, the link will be in the description below or you can just download the app and use my code at checkout. Feel free to like this video if you did enjoy and make sure to subscribe if you are new here. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.